Hey guys, this is Trevor with Patrick Adair Supplies. Today we're going to be going over our September subscription box. The ring is called the Kurai Mori. It translates to Dark Forest, and I think we're gonna have a fun time making it. All right guys, so in our box this month we have our green glow powder, our jade pigment, our dragon scale opal, Our emerald, your titanium ring blank, and as a freebie this month we have a titanium pendant and chain. Okay, so to start off we're going to be mixing up our jade pigment and our green glow. This part is purely personal preference for you guys, but at least you can see the way that we're doing it for this video if you want to try and mimic that color. After that's all mixed up, we're going to start the inlaying process. And for that inlaying process, I like to start with a small layer of our thick CA just around the base of that inlay channel. And then I'll take our mixture of our inlay materials. I did about a 60-40 mixture with 60 being the opal and 40 being the emerald. Once those are on there, I'm taking the back end of my tweezers and just kind of pushing them into that inlay channel a little bit more just to make sure everything's really cemented down into that thick CA. And once I'm happy with the placement, we will add our pigment mixture that we made earlier. And I'm just gonna pour that over the entire inlay channel. Any excess I have, I'm just gonna blow off. I do have a box fan behind me blowing away any of that excess pigment that I blow off to try and avoid inhaling it. Um, after I am satisfied with how that channel looks, I'm adding just a bit of our super thin CA. Um, not enough to make any of the pigment or materials drip, but enough to saturate the pigment in place. And I'll do a quick little inspection and then spritz it with accelerant to cement everything in place. And once everything looks good, I'm going to slowly build up the rest of that inlay channel with our super thin CA. Uh, I prefer to build it up with the super thin because it is the most liquid like um, CA we have. Uh, I feel like it's a much less chance of getting any bubbles in the inlay compared to using medium or thick and it will just get into all the cracks a lot better. So once the super thin is completely filled in that inlay channel, I'm going to take our rotary tool and just sand anything that was coming out of the channel flush with that channel. Um, the emerald is a bit harder to sand, so to save some time and materials, I'm taking a diamond bit and just sanding down that emerald a little bit more and finishing it off with the Dremel. If you do use a diamond bit, try to not to hit the uh, any of the metal of that ring, uh, just to save yourself some headache in the future. After everything looks good, I'm doing a quick 220 sand, 220 wet sand, and inspecting it after to make sure there's no holes or if there's any deep scratches from the dremeling, I can clean those up with that razor. And if that looks good. Then we're on to our final layer of super thin. And then I just cure that with a small spritz of our accelerant. And once that is cured, we are good to start the final finishing process. And I go through uh, wet sanding with 220 grit, 500 grit, and 1000 grit with a final inspection at the end to make sure that there's no scratches left over. And if it passes my test, I will add some polishing compound just to a paper towel and 
rub that all along the ring. And after that, your ring should be completed and you should be left with a nice, beautiful Kurai Mori ring. All right, guys, this is our finished ring. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I think the opal and the jade green pigment really complement each other super well. And you really get that feeling of a dark forest uh, when you look through here, see all the different uh, reflections that come off of that opal. And then to top it all off, you got that nice green emerald in there as well. And overall, I think it's just a really fun ring. I hope you guys have a good time making it. All right, guys, um, if you have any questions, we're trying to put together a list of frequently asked questions. So be sure to mention them in the comments and we'll try to get to them in the next video. Thanks.